water supply, irrigation, and drainage. Funny man in the water. Sam is taking a walk around lovely Lake Victoria when he spots a man with a lab equipment standing in the water and collecting it in jars. Sam is confused by this and decides to investigate. Let's see how it goes. Hello, Mzungu. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Why are you standing in the lake and collecting the water? Are you aware of the crocodiles and hippos? Hmm. I suppose I better get out now then. I am here to learn about Kenya's water and soil. I could go into more details why, but that's just boring. My name's Pablo. Oh, and they call me Sam. Africa will kill you if you aren't careful, mister. But that sounds interesting. Mind if I help you? Well, you did save my life from the crocodiles, so I don't see why not. Thanks. Why are you studying water, though? Water is the most fundamental and basic requirement for any form of life. Hmm. Animals and plants would die without access to it. Plus, it is needed for so many other uses, such as cleaning, processing in different industries, and can even generate hydroelectric power. Yeah, I guess I do like water too. Although, I won't get it from the lake. The rainwater has always been good for me. Ah, so you are a fan of the hydrological cycle. Hydro who? The hydrological cycle is as follows. Water from the surface evaporates, forming water vapor that rises to the atmosphere to become clouds. When the clouds are saturated, the water falls down to the earth as rain or snow. Uh, but we don't get much snow here. Yeah? I imagine not. The animals and plants use the water and then the process of evapotranspiration occurs. Have you heard of that before? Yes, from IMZ. It is water loss from the soil and the leaf pass. Correct. This resets the cycle anew. You should see a picture of this process to help clarify it. I better study up on it, considering rain is so important for my farm at home and work. You are exactly who I needed to talk to. Oh, how the universe works in crazy ways. Farms are always in need of good sources of water, as you know them. What are the sources of water you use? Well, as you are standing in, Lake Victoria is a major source of water around this country. Did you know that it is the second largest freshwater lake in the world? I did not know that. So, you use surface water sources then? Oh yes. Farms a little more inland make use of the rivers and streams. Are there any weirs or dams? Yeah. Those weirs are the barriers constructed in the water to raise the level, right? If so, yes. These are used for smaller rivers, but not many dams are here in Kisumu. There is only one in Sondu. You are perfect for my research. What about the underground sources? Yes, we utilize all three different kinds. Springs are among the most common around the area. Springs are the water coming out of the ground and collecting into the streams. Mm -hmm. But since contamination is a threat from livestock, we mostly dig wells. Ah. Ah, well, the ends well. If I remember, the wells are dug into the ground until a water table is reached and have a fence around the hole to protect from contamination. They are mostly dug with hand or very light machinery. What about them bore holes? We have bore holes as well. These need drilling machines because they dig into the parent rock. This ensures the water is never lacking Unlike in wells which can dry up, these are seen more inland where streams and rivers are scarce. You mentioned earlier the rainwater is always good to you. I'm gonna assume y'all make use of it then. Yes. Rainwater is collected and stored in tanks during our rainy seasons. This is to be used later when water is not readily available. It is one of the cleanest sources, but that 
depends on how you store and collect it. Well, how do y'all store and collect it? You have a lot to learn, Mr. Pablo. You follow me. Okay.